I have good news and I have bad news, pilots. The bad news is that we will be operating out of Anapa for the considerable future. The enemy strike on Galensic have completely neutralized the airport. The good news is that deliveries of Chinese-made weapons for our JF-17s have already begun. Not only can we use our weapons without fear of running out, but we will also receive Chinese-made glide bombs and missiles. Onwards to today's mission. Stavka have decided that the Soviet-controlled Moskva-class cruiser cannot be allowed to operate in the Black Sea. Already, its interference have cost us several vessels. A submarine damaged the vessel last night and it has sought refuge in Poti. Georgia, either from duress or invasion, have accepted Soviet forces in their country to defend it while it is being repaired. The Russian Air Force will send seven Tu-140 Blackjacks to destroy the target with cruise missiles. The formation will however consist of eight Blackjacks. One aircraft will pretend to have engine trouble and fall out of the formation, launching their cruise missiles at the SA-3 currently defending Sochi Air Base. We will follow the missiles in and destroy as many airplanes on the ground as we can, and then get the hell out before they can respond. Thunder Flight will engage the enemy once the SA-3 and the runway are disabled. Bombers and attack aircraft are our primary target. It is absolutely critical that we appear over the target at 1640. Arrive too early and the SAM will be active. Arrive too late and Soviet reinforcements will defend the airbase. Waypoint 2 is a holding point should we arrive too early near the target. Waypoint 3 is the target waypoint. Bolt flight will follow the missiles and hit the runway as soon as possible to ground the airplanes on the airport. Once this is accomplished, they will return to base. Sochi Airbase have a multitude of airplanes in storage. We do know that the Tu-95Ms that launched the cruise missile at our base are parked there alongside at least four MiG-23 floggers. We are weapons-free against identified hostile targets. Flight. It's going to take a while to get the bombers in the air. Do not start taxi until clear to do so. Clear for taxi, Thunder Flight. You have 30 minutes until time on target. Flaps down. Looks like a great day to wreck some havoc. Looks like the deliveries from uh, China have already arrived. Gotta say, I'm impressed with that airlift capacity. Six planes already, just to supply a couple of JF-17s. And I suspect some missiles for the Russian Air Force as well. We'll set this uh, thing for waypoint zero two, and we will be good.
Channel 119. And we are good. Rotating. Wheels up. Altitude. 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 Copy two. He's off on the afterburner. Right, we're at break point two. Setting for break point three and reducing speed a little bit. You can see Sochi down there. We're just waiting for the missiles now. Might prep our weapons in the meantime. Pod is online. Rockets are online. Electronic fuse is online. Pod is online and uncaged. We got a visual on Sochi down there. Prepare to run in. I can see smoke and explosions. The missiles have hit the SAM site. We're running in. Two, engage whatever area defenses are left in their vicinity. We'll take the rest of them. Master arm is on. One six eight eight. Rocket away. We should really fire these in pass. They'll be much more effective that way. Hit! At least one bomber has been destroyed. Let's keep it up. Good hits on the runway, bold fight. Egress northwest. Well, that's the runway gone. Whatever aircraft are left on the runway is gonna have a hard time taking it off now. We're coming around for another pass. There seems to be four small fighters at the edge of the runway. We're engaging them next. Damn, this thing is slow. Pull up. Missiles Pull up. away. Pull up. Well, that's a good hit on the targets. Let's keep it up.
We'll just move the pepper a wee bit and then fire on same target. Just another one of the flights. Zooming in and ready to go. Pull up. Splash. Pull up. That's some good hits on those f floggers. Let's return to the bombers at hand. Those will be priority targets from now on. Coming around for another pass. Zeroing the pod and coming around. Target the things at the edge of the runway. We're taking fire. Rockets away. We need to increase speed here. We're, two, we're sitting back for those uh, air defenses. Coming around. Right, let's move that pepper up to those uh, bombers. We need to take out more of those. Pull up. Rockets Pull away. Up. Pull up. Rockets away. Copy that, we'll give it another few rocket runs and then we'll just get home quickly. Rockets are away. Well, that's enough fun for today. We're out of the rockets. Let's head home immediately. I think we lost our wingman. Uh, he might have gone off to chase some other air defenses that we're not supposed to hunt. Well, we have a couple of rockets left, but I don't think we want to... risk it. I think we have done enough damage for one aircraft, so to speak. We can we can check the H the data link. We actually don't have anything on the data link, but still I don't want to risk it. We're pulling out and heading for home. That damage will have to be enough.
Ah, an upper traffic. Thunder 1 coming in for landing. Check flaps. Check landing gear. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Altitude. 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 We are good on the landing gear. Extending the air brakes. Reducing thrust. It's gonna be a high one. That's not necessarily bad, but when I come in high, it usually tends to mean a rather rough landing. And I don't really want that right now. Especially not since we are going to be having a lot of runway to go. Oh, that was, that was rough. That was far too rough on us. Ah, uh, the mechanics are not going to like me, but at, le at least we put the plane down. <laughs> that landing could have been a lot better. But, um, we simply have to endure the mechanics whining about it. And let's detach the brake chute. And start our long road towards the hangar and the the briefing. I would not say that this mission proceeded without a hitch. Rather, I would say it proceeded with quite a few hitches, the primary one being that we lost our wingman. While the plane can be replaced and the pilot surely made his way back to us, losing planes on missions that should be simple are not really the way to go. Either way, the first stages of the mission turned out to uh, go just fine. We stayed in our place in the formation, we followed the waypoints, and when the Blackjacks, the TU-160s, headed for their objective, we were in position and awaiting our job. Uh, the Blackjack here is breaking off and deploying cruise missiles, and the Vigans are over here also ready for the deployment at hand. So, as you can see, the cruise missiles are heading in to disable the anti-aircraft site, and we went as close as we dared, with the Vigans running in right after the missiles themselves. So, once the air defenses were out, we de sent our wingman to attack air defenses, and he for some reason went and attacked the SA-3 site rather than try to attack any of the air defense sites around the airfield, which I actually had in mind. But there's not really much we can do about that either way. Bolt Flight dropped their payload on the airbase, and we could also proceed with the engagement on and around the airbase. While we were fired upon, none of the shots we encountered uh, proved to be fatal. Now, one thing, we got the call that the enemy were scrambling SU-27s, however, this call seems to have been a little bit premature. However, due to our fuel status when we got back, I think it was good that we returned the other way, but we were well out of range once before the SU-27s had even taken to the runway, so we were probably not all that good in that. Now the cruise missiles heading for the Moskva managed to completely annihilate that ship, I mean this is overkill if you ever saw it. And uh, we can safely assume that the Moskva class cruiser has been taken out of the equation. However, the Blackjacks uh, tangled with MiGs 
and didn't really have much of a fighter escort. So, you win some, you lose some, and in this case, I would say that we definitely won a lot more than we lost. <laughs> 